According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, it's estimated that H. pylori bacteria are present in some 50% to 75% of the world's population. It's responsible for about 90% of all stomach ulcers. It does not cause illness in most people. About 10% to 15% of people infected with H. pylori develop peptic ulcer disease. It's not clear exactly why some people are more affected than others. H. pylori, a prevalent bacterium found in the digestive tract, has a propensity for attacking the stomach lining, thriving in the harsh, acidic conditions of the stomach. The H in its name stands for Helicobacter, derived from helico, meaning spiral, which denotes the bacteria's spiral shape. The bacteria may trigger ulcers in the following way. H. pylori enters the mucus layer of the stomach and attaches to the stomach lining. H. pylori cause the stomach to produce more stomach acid. This damages the stomach lining, leading to ulcers in some people. However, in certain instances, they can lead to stomach cancers although very rare, and various diseases. The majority of individuals infected with H. pylori do not experience symptoms. However, it's estimated that around 30% of those with H. pylori may develop other conditions, such as gastritis and peptic ulcers, due to the bacteria's damage to the stomach's protective lining. Symptoms of a peptic ulcer caused by H. pylori can include dull or burning stomach pain, early satiety, feeling full quickly after beginning to eat, bloating, nausea, unexplained weight loss, vomiting, H. Pylori infections have the potential to lead to peptic ulcers, which can progress to more severe complications, such as Internal bleeding occurs when a peptic ulcer ruptures blood vessels, often resulting in iron deficiency or anemia. Obstruction can arise when a tumor or other obstruction prevents food from exiting the stomach. Perforation involves the ulcer breaking through the stomach wall. Peritonitis develops as an infection of the peritoneum the lining of the abdominal cavity. This can be dangerous. Call your doctor right away if you have any of these symptoms. Bloody, dark red, or black poop. Trouble breathing. Dizziness or fainting. Pale skin. Vomit that is bloody, black, or looks like coffee grounds. Serious sharp stomach pain. The exact transmission mechanism of H. pylori infections remains unclear despite the bacteria having coexisted with humans for millennia. However, it's believed that infections may be transmitted through various means, including oral-to-oral -oral transmission, that is, possibly through the exchange of saliva, such as during kissing, fecal-to-oral transmission, contact with vomit or feces, especially if hands are not adequately washed after bathroom use, contaminated water and food, consumption of food or water contaminated with fecal matter or other bacteria in unsanitary conditions. You may be at greater risk for H. pylori infection because of your age. Over half the people in the U.S. with the bacteria are over 50 years old. Your race or ethnicity. Almost half of all African Americans have the bacteria. For people who come to the U.S. from developing countries, at least 50% of Latinos and 50% of people from Eastern Europe have H. pylori. Most people first get the bacteria when they are children, but adults can get it too. If you're experiencing symptoms of a digestive condition, it may be necessary to undergo testing for H. pylori infection. There are various methods to diagnose H. pylori, including Urea breath test. This examines carbon dioxide levels, which can indicate the presence of an H. pylori infection. Stool test used to detect H. pylori antigens in the stool. Blood tests. These assess for H. pylori antibodies in the bloodstream. If the results of these tests are inconclusive, a healthcare professional may recommend an endoscopy. During this procedure, the esophagus, stomach lining, and a portion of the small intestine are examined for further evaluation. Medications are typically employed to treat H. pylori infections, commonly through a regimen known as triple therapy, consisting of two antibiotics and one proton pump inhibitor, PPI. Drugs used in treatment may include clarithromycin, amoxicillin, various PPIs, such as lansoprazole, 
esomeprazole, pantoprazole, or rabeprazole, and metronidazole. Treatment approaches may vary based on individual medical histories and allergies. Following treatment, a follow-up test for H. pylori may be necessary. In most cases, a single round of antibiotics suffices to clear the infection, although alternative medications may be required if initial treatment proves ineffective. While no vaccine exists to prevent H. pylori infection, adopting healthy habits and practicing good hygiene may help reduce the risk. These habits include thorough hand washing after bathroom use and before food preparation or consumption, ensuring consumption of clean food and water, cooking food thoroughly, and avoiding consumption of food prepared by individuals who have not practiced proper hand hygiene. And mind whom you are kissing. Thanks for watching. Share this video so others can benefit as well. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section, we'll be glad to answer them. See you in the next videos.